The other day, we were wondering, are the cars of today, the sort of cars you can buy in a showroom, as fast as the racing cars of 20 or 30 years ago? This is a classic case in point. This is the Ford Escort that took Roger Clark to the 1974 British Rally Championship. And what we've got here is a perfectly normal Ford Focus RS. Leather seats, hot and cold running electric windows, the lot. So, same driver, same track. Let's find out which is the fastest. <laughs> Away they go, and the Escort is half a second faster from 0 to 60 because it's more powerful and a fifth of a ton lighter. But just look at the way it corners there. Here the Focus comes into its own with its modern tyres and its computer skull duggery. Hammerhead now, and the Focus's trick differential means it tracks neat and true, while the Escort is oversteering wildly. That is a live rear axle for you. This is incredible though, a car you don't have to wear a helmet to drive as they go through the tyre wall is miles ahead of a car that won the British Rally Championship and now it's a tripod and we're coming up to the finish and the £20,000 focus has simply monstered the priceless rally legend. Right, so that was a clear victory for the high street, so I think we should up the ante a bit, yeah? Okay, yes, fair enough. So what we've got here is one of the most famous racing cars of all time, the Ford GT40. This won Le Mans four times from 1966 to 1969. And what we have here is the Noble M400, which is one of our favourite current sports cars, and I don't think it's ever won anything. No, it? absolutely nothing at all. So, what do we think? What do we reckon is going to win this? You reckon the Noble? An interesting one, that, because it's got, what, 425 brake horsepower. The Ford only has 390. Anyone else? Any other thoughts? You think yeah, the, the GT40. GT40. But you see, great... It's lighter, isn't it? Good point. It is a lot lighter because, I mean, it looks like got half of Detroit in the back. <laughs> but actually, it doesn't weigh much more than a Lotus Elisa GT40. That's much heavier. The Noble's a lot heavier. So let's have a show of hands. Who thinks it's the Noble? Hands up for the power, and hands up for the racing lightness. Ooh, I'd say the GT40's just edged it here. Well, let's find out. This is thumping old-fashioned V8 power versus a modern V6 turbo. And sheer size seems to have it because the GT40 is already ahead. But look, the Noble's modern brakes mean the Stig can close the gap in the bend. Chicago now still looking evenly matched, but then once again the GT40 thunders its way out and is edging ahead. Now they're coming into the hammerhead. Here the Noble's modern tyres and downforce help to make up time, but the Ford's not giving up that easily. I mean, don't forget, despite the 60s technology, the GT40 was built for one reason, to excel on the track. And it's swallowing up our version of the Mulsanne straight there. As they go through the tyre wall, they are absolutely neck and neck. 40 years separates these cars, but in the final sequence of Benz, there's nothing in it at all, and there's the finish. In fact, the stopwatch showed that the GT40 won it by 0.6 of a second. So, so that is one win for the road cars and one win for the racers. Right, so we're going to have a decider. And from the historic stable, we have this, the original Audi Quattro. Now, this is the car that won the World Rally Championship in 1983, and it kicked off that whole four-wheel drive revolution in rallying thing. And this is one of the road-going monsters that it spawned. This is the Mitsubishi Evo 8, the 340, OK? Any thoughts, anyone? Who thinks the Evo? Hands up. And who thinks the Quattro? That is about 50-50, so play the tape. The figures suggest this will be a walkover. The Audi has 20 more horsepower and is a third of a ton lighter. And to be honest, 1983 isn't that long ago. Now I know the Evo's a Pentium processor with wheels, but it's hard to see how it can win this. Although that said, I have to say through the hammerhead, it is actually edging ahead. The Audi is obviously suffering because its engine is slung ahead of the front axle, which causes massive understeer. Or perhaps it's the weight of all those lights slowing it down. Whatever the reason, it's the Evo with the carpets and the warranty that's going to win this. I cannot believe it as they come out to the last corner, but it's actually won. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The Evo won that by one and a half seconds, which means it's two to the showing cars and only one to the racers. I and think that's remarkable. It, it is astonishing because if you think about it, not that long ago, people were travelling hundreds of miles to stand up in a wood all night in Wales just to watch <laughs> one of these go by at full chat. And now you can buy a road car which is just as fast.